former Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas is now freed from the shackles of his former team and has now moved on to driving for the up-and-coming Alfa Romeo. Bottas drove alongside Lewis Hamilton as a wingman to his teammate's success who won four drivers' championship titles whilst they were racing together. But now, after officially closing the chapter on his days with Mercedes, the Finnish driver has some things to get off his chest about his stint with the Silver Arrows, and Mercedes' chance now with a new driver in their lineup. When Valtteri came into the Mercedes team in 2017, Hamilton was a star in the making, with 53 Grand Prix wins under his belt compared to Valtteri who had none at the time. Toto Wolff would welcome the Finnish driver by complimenting him as the perfect wingman to his teammate Lewis Hamilton, and like a wingman he would be treated too. In the Russian Grand Prix in 2018, Bottas would be told to step aside to give the runway and the lead to Hamilton. When asked how he felt about this at the time, Valtteri would go on to say, Russia 2018 was a pretty tough race. It was tough to accept. I was pretty angry. Honestly, I was thinking, why do I do this? I was thinking of quitting, of giving up. If your teammate wins and you are second, you feel like you lose, the Finn said. I know I've been second in the past, but I want to prove that I'm not just number two. Bottas would also admit that he felt even the surrounding team members had a subconscious bias onto who they would prioritize of the two of them. Quoting, in the team, even though many of them wouldn't admit it, maybe unconsciously they have a number one and a number two. Sometimes the team members had to question themselves, are we giving equal treatment to both Lewis and Valtteri? For Valtteri, the darkest part of the experience started to affect his mental health. He can be quoted saying, if you feel like you have a knife to your throat, your head isn't doing very well. But through it all, Valtteri would play the part, staying professional and helping Hamilton win three more drivers' championship titles as his teammates until Mercedes would then announce that he would be replaced after the 21 season by George Russell. Now at Alfa Romeo, Bottas is taking a leadership role to his new teammate and F1 rookie, Guan Yu Zhou. During the team's car launch, Bottas would say in an interview that he finds himself laughing more since arriving at Alpha and is excited to get a fresh start with a team that will allow him to push himself to be the best driver that he can be. When asked to look back at his time at Mercedes, he would say this, A part of me is always going to miss working at Mercedes. Now I have started looking back at my time there, I have tried to take all of the positive moments that we had. And for his replacement, George Russell, the two have had a sour relationship up to today, stemming from a very dangerous crash at Emola, with the two pointing fingers at each other to say who caused it. But when asked about it, Valtteri would say that Russell has the talent and skill worthy of a seat at Mercedes, but still has a lot to learn, saying, I don't see anyone else beating Lewis in the new future in the same machinery. George will adjust well because he's been around Mercedes for years, but beating Lewis is not easy. I've experienced that. Every driver's performance has its ups and downs, but Lewis's baseline is just so high. It's never easy to leave a team that you have been battling alongside with for a half a decade, so you can't blame Valtteri in expressing his emotions about his previous team and its outlook towards the future. But what about you? Do you think Valtteri's comments were warranted or was it uncalled for? Let us in the comments down below and subscribe to DRS Zone.